We're live at New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. A uh, bit of trivia for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The New York Threats take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. <laughs> First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and two. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and eight to go. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down and nine. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> well, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my head. It was a chip. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Calling a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Man, he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Except the zombies. They are freaks. He's 
rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Hey, man, nobody. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? First down and five. Second down in a lot. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! And big deal. Missed a beat for Grant Graham and a ball didn't fall down. Yeah, man. He was on the now. Oh, you know, man. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. And this is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Oh, I guess the ref used his bribe money and some running shoes because he just escaped a team full of bloodthirsty mutants. First down in a mile. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And he picks up about six on the play. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down and never gonna happen. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three.
find the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And it's first and ten. The defensive players go berserk. They've been known to run. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crushed. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second and three. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and five. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Target more often. First down to seven. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped in on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. He got blown to shit. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. could have made that kick. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. That's a 
four yard gain. And that'll bring up third and one. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a rip. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Watch out, the ball is going to Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Quarterback just threw a sonic blast. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have the... The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down and, well, good luck. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Second down and six. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, Junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? Down him talk so he out it comes up. Huh? Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. If I have mastered it. Drills one in for the first down. <laughs> and it's first and and that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. 
can't keep a good mutant. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. He just picked the receiver's pocket and... Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. It's a six yard gain. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. Running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Third down and six. Get your motor running. <laughs> We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kick and chop in half? They just be called. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Well, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he held on to that 
It's first and ten. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. Period a little Swedish midget lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Now at least the, I think that's what I did. Second down and more than the QB would like. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and long. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he put all of his foot into that one. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and five. Catch him! Oh, you fat little Milton! And it's first and ten. Come on! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Seriously. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and two. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. I'm not saying the rap has been rhymed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there.
Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. Preferably further than no return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I thought it was a... Pow! With the brain scrambler! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, and all those power to green, what the high cool! They're going for two points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Oh, nobody like a match. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that's it. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Oh, what a run there! Touchdown! No one was gonna stop him! The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. The kicker is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. That's about a three yard pickup.
And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. He had it for a second there. And that'll bring up third and one. And a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First and eight to go. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, he's talking about points. And they run it in for two points. Never get into a dance-off with a robot. They're programmed to perfectly execute dance moves with just the right amount of sass. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called that rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. <laughs> Stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. It's a zap! Oh, he is a living fork in a power outlet right now. And the defense was all over that fumble. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the third, and they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. He's at the 10. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. The offense is down to their final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How's he going to be able to block all those defenders by himself, Grim? Well, he can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Boom!
And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. Uh, you have to admire that fighting spirit. It's so And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Nestle like and suffer a howling defeat today with this home loss. They've got 99 problems, but a winning one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. Grim Blitzrow and Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it.